BYU aims to give students more than just degrees. In fact, there are four aims of a BYU education. I'm totally a perfectionist and I want like straight A's, but that's sometimes impossible. And I stress myself out a lot and I um, heard this devotional where he's like, it's okay, you don't have to be perfect. You know, you just have to make sure you're worthy to go to the temple and to like receive the blessings of the Holy Ghost. And that really helped me a lot to kind of chill out a little bit and be like, I'm doing good. My grades are fine. My GPA is okay. When we pray before classes, like I feel the spirit. You really appreciate that, you know, God is at the helm of your education and it kind of makes you reflect back on it and brings you back to the spirit and to the origin of all truth. My favorite thing about my student ward is the connections and relationships that I have found there. I've had really great bishoprics as well as great roommates and lots of ward activities that brought us together. So no matter what day of the week it is or what I'm doing, I always have friends and a support system that I can go to. My first semester here, I actually got called to be the Gospel Doctrine teacher, which was terrifying for me. But I actually got to make a lot of really good friends because of that. Um, I actually got to um, work with the other Gospel Doctrine teacher and learn a lot from him. My capstone project is a research one. We're studying the difference between mortality rates in people who are married and not married. And that's a really good opportunity for me, especially because I'm going to grad school. It's not textbook oriented. I just get a lot of hands-on experience with research. The coolest thing about my favorite class was my professor. Um, I had one class I took last semester and my professor absolutely loved what he was teaching about. And you could tell that it was just something he was truly passionate about. And it actually influenced my choice in majors. My freshman year, I was able to go on a study abroad to Australia, where I was able to do research with professors and PhD students at one of their universities. One of the projects we were working on was seeing how when camels drink a lot of water from the water holes, how it affects the wildlife in the outback. So right now I'm a TA for a class and I feel like it's like I've been able to notice when students come and they realize that maybe like I had done something, I graded something incorrectly or like I'd given them points where they didn't need it or something like that. And it, it's really cool to see students come back and um, like recognize that an error was made even though it was in their benefit, but they value like their own integrity and like making sure that things are done honestly and fairly over necessarily just like get an upper hand because of my mistake. So that's always cool to see. Well, something that I've loved about my campus job is I worked up at the uh, BYU Broadcast Building. And the great thing up there is that I was able to be around professionals. They had a standard of excellence and they just held to that. And that was something that was really inspiring to me to know that, you know, I can do that in my future career, but also in my own life too. We all kind of have an idea of what college is gonna be like. And when you get here, it's a little bit different than you imagine. and. I've definitely grown and become more independent in the sense where like I have to figure out how to solve my problems like by myself there's not someone there like guiding me. I've been involved in BYU Wives Serve since I got back from my mission three years ago. I tutor a kid in the local community. He's 12 years old. I started off tutoring him in math and then he's advanced enough that now I've moved on to a different subject with him. Sometimes small acts of service can make a big difference. For example, a couple weeks ago, I was walking home in the rain, um, but I actually brought an umbrella for the first time. And I noticed this girl walking in the same direction without a jacket and without an umbrella. And I just felt so bad for her because that was me a couple weeks before. And so I offered her my umbrella, we walked all the way to her car, and I made a new friend. So I'm actually part of a club called the Association for Information Systems and as part of that I do peer mentorship and help some of the undergraduate students in the business school both in a group setting and on an individual basis with things that they need such as doing mock interviews with them and helping them register for classes. 